Today we're going to look at recalculating our economic rate taking into account the gas stream. So previously we looked at just the oil stream and calculated an economic rate. Uh, however, our model can be improved by taking into account the gas production. And that's what we're going to show today. So essentially the main equation we're going to focus on is this one right here. Essentially is our oil rate times our oil price which represents our oil stream revenue, plus our oil rate times our GOR, which gives us gas, times the gas price, which is our gas stream revenue this entire term, minus our operating cost. And when that equals zero, we have determined our break-even or economic rate. So the problem with this equation is we really have two unknowns, the rate of oil and the GOR. So we have to somehow uh, reduce this equation down to a single variable equation so that we can get an exact solution, essentially, in math terms. So how do we do that? Well, we have to be clever. So we're going to relate our GOR and reduce it down to a function of the oil rate by taking into account our GP versus MP plot that you guys should be familiar with. I've shown this multiple times. Essentially what we're doing is we're fitting a power function to the early time data and then a power function to the late time data where the intersection represents the quote unquote bubble point and then we get a uh, equation of our gas production as a function of the cumulative oil production. So cumulative gas production versus cumulative oil production, that's this equation right here. Both lines are fitted with that equation. And so we have our, uh, we have to be clever again here. So how do we relate this to GOR? Well we take the derivative of it. If you take the derivative of the cumulative gas production with respect to the cumulative oil production, you get GOR as shown here. And that's an easy derivative to take. Uh, this is our intercept of our, our straight line. And then M is our slope, which are constants. And then cumulative oil production is, is our changing variable. So we have a function for GOR, but we still you know, have to relate it to our oil rate. So to bridge the gap between this cumulative production plot to our, uh, I guess our ARPS plots, we look at our ARPS equations. So this is one equation for when uh, B does not equal 1. And you can see here, it's a function of the oil rate, where these are uh, constants. The rest of these are constants, B, D, I, Q, I. And so we have a function, our GOR, if we plug this equation into here, we have GOR as a function of our oil rate and if we plug it back into this equation we can solve it. We have a single variable equation and we can solve this with any root finding technique. And This is just a you know a root finder so you can use Newton Rapsom, bisection, any algorithm. We will use solver with QOL as our manipulated variable and when it finds the root when this equation equals zero, the left side of this equation equals zero, we have determined our economic rate. And this can be extended to both rate time decline and or a rate versus cumulative production decline uh, because we, we get these constants when we uh, did our analysis from the ARPS equations. So guys, I hope you understood that. If you don't, uh, we're going to step into the application and uh, maybe you can work through it and um, understand it then. But let's go ahead and step into Excel and see how to apply this methodology to get an economic rate. So what I've done is I expanded our economic parameters box to take into account variables for the gas stream. So the oil stream parameters they're still in place. It's the same as we did in the previous economic rate video. The, that's still the same. All we're doing is we're expanding this to include the gas stream. So one of the parameters we need to include for the gas is the gas price. So we're going to just say it's going to be $3.35 per standard cubic feet of gas. That's how much we're making or how much the gas price is. And then we're going to discount that price just like we did the oil price because we have, uh, you know, seven eighths net revenue interest in the field, and also we got to pay county and state taxes. So if we take 
that into account, um, we're going to reduce this uh, gas price down to a net gas price. So we take that price, we multiply it by our net revenue interest, and then we take off the taxes there. We're considering the severance tax and the ad valerum tax. If you do that, uh, we reduce our price to two dollars and sixty-seven cents per thousand cubic feet of gas. So that's what we're we're getting per thousand cubic feet of gas. The next step, we need to determine our GUR. Or write a, a, a function in there for GUR. It's just this equation right here. So I wrote a VBA function for that. It's called GUR from GPNP. And it's going to take into account um, our intercept, our slope, and our cumulative oil production. So we've already done our analysis on this well. You can see our fit right here. This purple line represents our constant GOR line, or our early time fit. And then our blue line represents our late time fit. So that's the one we're going to look at. So it's going to take into account our intercept of our blue line, and then our slope of our blue line which is conveniently shown down here, and then our cumulative oil production, which is simply just going to be our EUR term, because this has got to change based off of our economic rate. So if we do that, that's our GOR at this point, at this economic rate right here. And what we have to do next, and this is just a rant, a guess essentially we can change this economic rate to 200 it's going to update our GOR and our EUR change this to whatever you want it doesn't really matter the next step we want to do is we want to write our equation that we're going to try to uh, manipulate our oil rate to equal to get to equal to zero and so it's just this equation right here so if we take uh, we want to take into account our oil rate which is going to be our manipulated variable here times our oil price, our net oil price, plus our oil rate times our GOR, that gets us to our gas, times our net gas price, and then minus our operating cost. In this case, we're, we're just simplifying it by considering just constant operating cost. And then that's the value of our function on the left-hand side right here. So next we want to do, what we have to do is we have to uh, use solver to um, change our oil rate variable here to get it to equal to zero. So if we go to our data tab, go to solver, our objective is going to be this function right here, which we wrote right there. And we wanted to set it to a value of zero, so it's just simply a root finding um, problem by changing our oil rate. And you can see here um, when we press solve it's going to change our, our rate right here and it's also going to update our EUR on this side. So if we do solve our monthly revenue is zero at this rate of 140.3 stock tank barrels per month and then that updated our EUR and also our uh, our EUR values, our reserves, and all that. So when the price, when the oil rate gets down to here on our decline curve, we're not making any money, we're losing money. And so that's, um, we need to stop production and uh, reconsider our options. So guys, that's it. Um, that was our updated model. We didn't take into account drilling and completion costs. That'll be taken into account in our net uh, internet present value calculations which we'll do later on in another video to reiterate you can extend this to cumulative, rate cumulative decline and so guys that's it uh, I hope you learned something today um, basically what we did is we expanded our model to include the gas stream which gave us a more refined estimate of our economic limit and uh, we went through put in these equations you solver to uh, set our objective function to zero and change our oil rate so that this function on the left hand side equals zero and it updated our EUR of our gas and, and our reserves and all of that um, with our rate time forecast.
So I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and I'll see you next time. Adios.